Hey guys, good morning. It's Miss Senseless. Um, I think by the time you guys get this video, I'm going to be at least about maybe two or three weeks in into my surgery. Now, if you are not a fan of plastic surgery, I would advise you to not watch this video and keep your negative comments, questions, and concerns to yourself or just don't even come onto this channel. Um, nine years ago, I decided to, um, you know, once I knew I was going to have any more children, I plan on getting me a tummy tuck. So, um, so this year here, um, I decided to do that in January 7th, 2021. I was supposed to have gotten it done last year um, in May. I think it was like the first week or second week in May. And of course, the pandemic happened. Something that I've always wanted to do was to get a tummy tuck because the elasticity of uh, of my stomach it was very loose right below my belly button and I mean I wasn't comfortable with that I was never a person to um, when I was younger to show off my body I didn't do that um, you know I just felt that it wasn't I, for me it wasn't ladylike so I didn't do it so that was my thing um, I never really wore a two-piece or a uh, crop top you know but as I've gotten older and um you know my daughter is now you know 26 my boys are 17 and 10 I'm like you know what why not so and like I said you know every year I kept looking up you know looking at it like can I do it and I also thought of you know work and also my time at work you know my leave um when i'm home but i'll be able to you know afford to stay home for a certain amount of period of time so this is something i've been planning throughout the years so it's not something that i just up and abruptly just did now what i endured was um a tummy tuck with a muscle repair and during um surgery what i encountered was um a hernia and it wasn't actually during surgery it was actually during the time he was doing the measurements or you know doing his little drawing that he go um michelle do you know you have a hernia and i'm like no you know i didn't know that because one before anyone asks well how did you know one i didn't feel any pain too i was wearing um you know my regular um garments you know my waist trainers and things like that so duh it wouldn't you know i didn't know i didn't have nothing bulging or anything like that but i will include some before and after pictures of my surgery so once again like i said this is a journey into leading up to my surgery and after my surgery and i figure i just come on here and let you guys you know um know um why i haven't been posting since after vlogmas because i've been pretty much getting myself ready my home and things like that of what i needed to do to get prepared for this standpoint because of course i do have a boyfriend um i do have friends and things like that and everybody of course is scheduled is busy and it's the new year so um and also too with uh virtual learning in school um you know it's it did uh it will take a toll on me but basically um this video basically is just to show you guys my process of leading up to um my surgery and after sort of it's gonna have the pre-op and you're gonna have post-op um at some point they're gonna have points where i wasn't able to take you guys in when i was doing my pre-op which you know you know i'll speak about that this was something that um it's a life-changing event for me um you know so i did get it done on january 7th um, I stayed inside the hospital and like I said you will be able to see all the videos that I posted um, I will show you pictures and things like that so like I said by the time you guys see this it will be either two or three weeks in so once again if you are not a person for plastic surgery please once again 
do not come on here. What I do with my body is my choice. I don't care to hear all the negatives about anyone or your concerns because honestly, I don't care. Okay, so leave all your negative comments to yourself. This is for people who are interested in the journey that led up to my tummy tuck muscle repair and hernia removal. Okay, so thank you and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm on my way to my pre-op appointment. Yes, my pre-op appointment. It is the final countdown on my surgery and stuff. So, yes, I am. I want to say that I'm nervous, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm nervous or what, to be honest. I don't think it really, really kind of kicked in. But, um, you know, it's, it's on my mind heavily now, you know, on my mind heavily now. Um, so my pre-op appointment is for 11. It is 1017. I'm, I'm into the city. I'm going to stop at Dunkin' Donuts and grab my usual. Um, but yeah, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I can, uh, you know, take you guys in there so that you can actually see what's going on. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lot of um, do's and don'ts. And uh, my pre-op appointment, my, uh, excuse me, my surgery date, once again, it's January 7th, which will be next Thursday. So, like I said, we all, um, we are coming down to the final. There's no more weeks. Of course, you guys didn't know that I'm now, you know, but I've been mentioning it along the way during my um, vlogmas and things like that. But I didn't want to give too much information out. So, now you guys are aware. Um, so, next Thursday at, I'm going to get all that information when I go here this morning. So, yes, guys. We are finally down to the last of it, you know, and, uh, but I'll keep you guys posted, let you guys, you know, know what's going on. Like, again, I'll see, you know, what I can, you know, show you guys in here. I'm pretty sure we're going to do a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of do's and don'ts and things like that. So I'll see you guys in a bit.